Hey YouTube, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a vlog all day with me so you guys can follow me and see what I do during the average day. The first part of my day involves my dogs because who doesn't have their life revolve around their pets if they have pets? Um, the first thing we do when we wake up is we go outside and we stretch our legs and I wait for them to pee. So it's very exciting. <laughs> Usually by this time I am ready to have some coffee, ready to start the day. I don't try to do too much in the mornings, but I have my coffee and reading routine where I like to sit down for about 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes and just sit quietly and have my coffee. So I'm about to do that now and just kind of give myself some time. Getting ready to sit down here. I just took a look at my mail pile for the day. This is everything I have to drop off for Amazon FBA. I have been usually leaving things in my mailbox, but I have so much stuff today. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it to the post office. So that is one of the things on our list for today. Usually in the mornings for breakfast, I just have a coffee and a protein shake. Um, I try not to eat anything until like 11 or 12 o'clock. You can see here on my habit tracker, one of the things that I try to do every single day is to read for 15 minutes. So that is what I'm about to do. Um, most of the time it's easy for me to do that. Sometimes it's a little bit of having to practice discipline. Uh, but today I'm reading this book called Eloquent Rage. Um, it's by Brittany Cooper. She's a relatively famous black feminist. The book is um, something that I really feel like I needed to read, especially with everything going on in America right now. And I know that white people love to say that, everything going on right now. But I do believe that like educating yourself on on the plight of other people's issues is really important. So I'm reading this book and she talks a lot about how black women's anger is interpreted by society and how basically they're just typecast as this loud angry black lady who can't control her feelings or whatever. So I think that this book has been really good. I'm almost finished reading it. I don't know why, but I have this $2 bill as my bookmark and everyone asked me why I use it. I just found it and I thought it was fun. So I just use it as my bookmark. So that's what I do for my morning routine. If I feel like it, I journal, but I haven't felt like journaling lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't want to do it, so I don't make myself do it. I only do it when I want to. Um, I still do it a couple times a month, even the months that I don't really feel like it. But um, sometimes it's difficult for me to write down what's going on, especially when nothing's really going on. I do have a couple of things on the agenda today. Um, I've got to go and drop my dogs off at the groomers and I'm going to get my nails done. And there's a place I want to check out to source uh, if I have time today. So that will all hopefully be in the vlog. Usually after I finish reading, I uh, step into my office, which is kind of a mess right now, but I step in here and decide what needs to get done for the day. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is shipping out an eBay order. I sold some of the spicy Southwest style skillets. These are camping meals. Walmart clearance actually had these on sale for half off the yellow tag, so they were only $1.25, so I bought six, and I listed these in a three-pack for $25 on eBay, but I decided to do the bulk discount, so if you purchase two, you got a deal on it, and the person who purchased it actually purchased all of these, making it very easy for me to ship, so I wound up selling all six for $42.50. So I'm going to get those ready and I'll tell you actually what the profit is on these after I get them shipped. All right, guys, I got that packed up and ready to go. I'll show you really quick how I calculate profit for my eBay sales. So the item sold for $42.50. PayPal and eBay fees together are going to be about 13%. So I multiply the $42.50 times 87% and that gives me $36.97. Then I have to subtract the cost of goods, what I paid for the item, and I have to subtract the shipping for the item. So after that, um, I'm left with a profit of $19.54 on these bad boys. And that's awesome because I bought these yesterday, guys. So I was able to get them listed, get them shipped, and um, get them out of here within a matter of about 24 hours. And that's ideal when you have things that you're storing in your home. I know that's not going to happen for every single item. But, you know, the thing is, if I didn't list those, then they wouldn't have sold. So I try to get everything listed as soon as I get it. The ROI or return on investment on these items was like 230 something percent. So I was able to take my $8.18 and make that money back and then give myself an additional $19.54. So not a huge sale, but definitely everything adds up. And if you have five of these sales a day, then you have yourself almost $100 profit a day. So that's the goal in the end is to just have a stream of things coming in. And unfortunately, I don't have any more of these. I bought all they had in stock at $1.25 
five. I was able to recognize the brand immediately and knew it was a good deal. These things normally sell for $9 a pack. So when they were $1.25, I honestly was like, yes, I'm buying these because I know I'll be able to sell them on some platform. I could have sold them on Amazon, but with everything going on with the Amazon delays, I figured eBay would be the best route to go. And the fees were less on eBay as well. So I think that that is the best thing for me to do. So I've got this shipped and I've got one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys that I sold on Amazon today. Guys, the next thing I sold was some condoms. So <laughs> I found these on sale at Walmart the other day, actually yesterday for $1.50. So they had their yellow tag clearance marked down another 50% off. So I got these super, super cheap and the rank was really good on them and they sold when I was sleeping. So I got those shipped. I've got another, this is my other unit. I've got the other one packed up, but I made $5 and 80 something profit on these, I believe. So I think that was a great return. Um, usually I don't like to sell things that cheaply, but um, in this case where the rank is really good, all I have to do is box it up and get it ready and I can make over $5. So it's really worth my time. I would probably do that all day if you told me I could find a consistent product. Another thing I found at Walmart yesterday were these male enhancement things that were on sale for like $5. And I sold one of those yesterday for $30. I think my profit on those is somewhere around $15 a unit. I'm gonna go back today and see if I can buy the rest of them. I didn't really know how fast they were gonna sell, so I'm, I'm not really familiar with a lot of the ranks in that category yet, so, um, but yeah. And I'm not selling this, so don't freak out, but I actually found some Germex yesterday. I was super pumped because I'm going on a road trip pretty soon and I wanna be able to have as much as possible. But yeah, I've got a few more things to package and get ready, and then I'm going to start getting ready myself to do my errands and run to the couple of places that I need to go today. We are on the way to the groomers, and let me tell you, these guys are not happy about it. They're looking really concerned right now about their future. Well, I have a minute, and I'm already over here. I'm going to run into Books A Million and Publix to check out the clearance really fast, see if I can pull out any profit from here. So I will hit you guys up when I get out of here and show you what I found or tell you that I didn't find anything. We'll see. I didn't find anything in Books A Million, but I went to Hibbit Sports afterwards and I found a ton of stuff. Y'all, I am shook right now. I found four of these lacrosse things for 98 cents. They were originally $90. The profit on Amazon is going to be really good. It's around $52 profit and I was able to pick up four of these. So that's over $200 that I'm going to pull out of this store. And I found a lot of other things in here too. I wound up spending $25 and talking to the store managers and figuring out what days their clearance is marked down. So I think this is going to become a really great source. This is honestly the type of day that I love reselling because I wasn't even intending to make any money and I've already made over $300 today after what I pulled out of Hibbit and I only spent $25 so and that was just on the way to drop off my dogs at the groomers. So this is why I want to tell you about reselling because it really is life changing. It's something that once you figure out how to do it and do it well, you can make a lot of money. I stopped for lunch and got some groceries at Publix. I'm having this broccoli cheddar soup, perfect on a fall day. And I got some kombucha to go along with it. This is the coconut lime. And I'm gonna go from here to the post office and then to go get my nails done. My nails are done, they are pink, they are pretty. I'm good to go. These are gel nails, so they stay on for like two or three weeks. And I have these very stylish flip flops on. The next place I'm going to is a discount store. I've got some footage from inside the store. As you can see here, I piled up the diapers. They were like, are you having a baby? Do you have a baby? Are you going to a baby shower? I was like, wrong again. And I told them that I'm a reseller and I was buying these and they asked if I was selling them on eBay and I said I was selling them on Amazon. And so they were happy to sell me all that they had. I should make about seven to eight bucks a unit on these. I spent $103 and expect about 120% return on these after everything is said and done. This store has a lot of things that are expired, so I have to be very careful when I buy things from here, but they usually have some really great prices on stuff, and the people are super friendly who own it, so I really enjoy sourcing here. I just picked up two very handsome gentlemen here. They're gonna ride with me to my home. And 
I think we're gonna probably call it a day in terms of sourcing, guys. I'm pretty tired. I didn't really intend to go to that many stores, but sometimes it just happens, and I've still gotta list all of that stuff. So I think I probably spent about $130 today on products to sell and should make at least 400 on all of that so that's a great return we're going home we gotta chill out i need a cup of coffee if i'm gonna get through the rest of this day it's 3:48, so let's let's head on home guys this is my day's worth of work three small boxes going out most of these were the diapers and i had a box full of toys that i processed yesterday so i'm gonna go ahead and ship those out tomorrow i've got a lot of inventory that is stranded right now and it's really frustrating because things are taking forever to get to the warehouse right now but this has all been in today's work and i think that i'm gonna end the video here hopefully you enjoyed coming along with me the rest of my evening is gonna consist of working out and just relaxing it is now 5.25 and I've pretty much been going hard all day, even though I had a lot of things that I had to do that were personal just for me. Um, you know, it's overall it was a day of work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will continue to make more if this is helpful. If you um, haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more content and I will catch you in the next video.